Hey, today I'm going to be guiding you through the best broken way to acquire legendary ancestral staffs, helms, legs, and much more without looking for Cinder in World Tier 4. If you have not watched my previous video where I discussed the hotfix, new dungeon farm, and exploit, then definitely do so. Now before you do that, I want to say check out the rest of this video first because you do not want to miss out on this. And so there you have it. With that information to the side, we can now go through this whole entire guide right away. What we want to do is head over towards the World Tier 4 and choose Nightmare. Now on the other hand, if you choose something like Veteran, then you are going to notice that there is no Helltides. This is because it's not available for that specific tier. Just something to take note of if you did not know. I'm not sure as to why you would not know, but we're just throwing that information in there just in case. So with that being said, let's exit out and choose the Nightmare, which can be found on World Tier 3. Once you have seen it fade out and fade back in, you can then pause the map, and we want to locate exactly where Helltides will be located at over here. So let's go ahead and fast travel towards the point of interest. And when you have spawned down, we just want to go straight into this by simply attacking some enemies for some cinder, or we could participate in an event just to earn some extra. It honestly does not matter. You can even use something that I've been showcasing the last two days, which was how to acquire a bunch of cinder by simply exploiting the event. And it's quite easy. There are certain events that will allow you to exit out by using the teleportation and then teleporting back in and it will completely reset it. I've noticed that in certain events this is not possible. If you want to know what those exact events look like and where they can be found, check out yesterday's video. Now to continue on with this one, we are going to then teleport back to town by clicking the T key or by holding down the D-pad if you're on console. We now want to change it back to Torment and it says that most of the things will be reset, such as the Tree of the Whispers and all that other stuff there, such as dungeons, nightmares, and etc. What's interesting is that it does not reset your Cinder, so you can then go into World Tier 3, which is quite easy to take out those enemies, then bounce into World Tier 4, find a mysterious chest, open it up, and you should be able to pick up some ancestral legendaries. And the best part about all of this is that you can rinse and repeat this. I do want to say that there are players out here that can solo Helltides by themselves. I'm one of them. And it's not that bad on World Tier 4. So if you have to go down a tier, then definitely do this method right here then hop over to tier 4 and pick up some strong items. This of course can be rinsed and repeated as long as you do swap over from world tier 3 to world tier 4 and you are well aware of what tier you're on. It would be sad to open up a world tier 3 chest when of course you do have the capability of opening up a world tier 4 easily with the cinders that you unlock. I'm surprised that they have yet to patch anything like this or nerf it because it honestly should probably kind of coincide with the whole uh, Whispers of the Tree resetting and all the other stuff. So, not too sure why it's not possible, but I guess it's okay. I'm okay with it, but I'm just surprised it's not nerfed or anything like that. Uh, let's continue on. What we are going to be discussing next is a great way to pick up a bunch of those red shards over in the PvP area without participating in any PvP. What you can do is head back towards the world tier and make sure that you are on tier 1. Then locate one of the PvP areas. I prefer the bottom one just because it's short and you can kind of get around easily to each event. And once you have arrived here at the good old home base, or uh, pretty much the point of interest, we are going to then open up the menu and try to find two of the events nearby. They can be found on the bottom portion here of the map. We then want to locate the first event, complete it all the way. Then when the chest pops up, grab your loot, continue on towards the right side, and you should be able to see another event going on. You then want to complete that event, and what's great about this is that really there's not going to be any players around. I've hardly seen any, and when they are on, they're most likely just roaming around about in their low level. 
We could then go towards the right side here after defeating that beautiful, beautiful goblin there, treasure one. Uh, but yeah, those can pop up occasionally from time to time. You can then head over here, go towards the next event, activate it, complete it, and then pick up that chest. You should have about 1,000 red shards at this point. I was able to actually drop a legendary here. So then go towards the menu. We're going to go towards the map and we want to locate a specific boss that's roaming around. This can be found in the PvP area. You then want to defeat him and pick up those red shards next. And so you might be thinking, what's next? Well, you could then rinse and repeat everything. Go downwards, activate the event, defeat the enemies, pick up the loot from the chest, go towards the right, complete that event next, pick up the loot, go towards the middle to see if the boss is back up, and rinse and repeat this until you have quite a lot. This way you do not have to participate in any PvP action. Like I've said in this video, I've hardly seen any players and when I do they are super low level, like 40 to 50. Considering that I'm at 70, I would highly, highly recommend that you guys try this out. The best part about Red Dust Currency is that you have your options. You of course can purchase some PvP clothing uh, that is kind of arguable, right? Some like it, some don't. You can go ahead and purchase some random legendaries with it. Or you can do what I highly recommend, and that is heading on over towards the good old horse vendor. Purchase some of those amazing, amazing cosmetics that you can place on your side, or have a new mount. There's a lot of options there when it comes down to it. And if I was only smart in my previous video, I would have never purchased one of the PvP armors. I most likely would have purchased something for my mount. What the heck was going on there? Well, I'll tell you, I did not know that the mount was selling, or that specifically the horse vendor was selling mounts or cosmetics for the mount. Now I found out about, I don't know, 50, 50, 100 hours later or whatever, how long I've played this game, it's, it's astonishing. And before I end the video, I do want to feature two comments in the last video, and if you would like to be featured in the next video, comment something and I might just pin it in the next one. The first comment is by Super Duroc. This fella right here is the reason why I'm showcasing the information today, because quote, you know, you can actually farm cinders and Helltide on World Tier 3, locate the chest, then go to Kav, change to World Tier 4, go back to Helltide and collect a World Tier 4 chest without having to kill anything on World Tier 4. So absolutely thank you so much for sharing this information with us and continue on towards the second comment, which is by Chick and CZ. This person states this right here, quote, Okay, so after leveling up to level 63, I've just discovered that I can leave a dungeon using the emote wheel. Oh my effin' god, yeah. So yeah, if you did not know, in the recent video I actually discussed this, and I think this is what surprised this player right here. So yeah, you can simply use your will to leave the dungeon. You should absolutely try it out, make sure you customize it, put it in there, and you're all good to go. So with everything that's been said in today's video, thank you to everyone that is currently watching right now. And if you want to subscribe, you can click the subscription button down below. It's completely free. Turn the notifications on. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, shoot it down below. I will try to reply back within the first hour or two if it is a question. Thank you again to everyone supporting the channel and the members. I will see you all in the next video.